Hello, today we are looking at LMDE2 PETC, in other words, Linux Mint Debian Edition. And it is the, yesterday on the 13th of March, they let loose their stable release of the new updated LMDE2 PETC. And as you can see, the first glance, if you have been tracking Linux Mint for the last year, I would see it looks like your they adopted and made it very much like your Linux Mint 18, Linux Mint 18.1. It's basically, the only difference is here they bang the goodness of Linux Mint with the cinnamon on to Debian, where on other one they Banged Linux Mint and Cinnamon made uh, XFCE and KDE onto an awesome Ubuntu LTS. But that's basically only the difference between them. Where on LMDE bets, two bets is more like a rolling release. So when you update your packages, you will always get like the latest version available where on your 18, 18.1, 19 in the future, you get like once off release, so you can always go back to the place and reinstall. You can know what packages is available in that release by default. You, of course, you can add like PPAs or other software to get the newest, but if you just install the basic, you will get the same version, which is nice sometimes, where in Betsy, we more get like updated software depending on the time which you are happening with also very cool stuff but personally I like a LTS version like your Linux 18 or 18.1 simply because of I like the stability which is good. like I'm for video editing which I'm using on Linux is KDN Live and on the 16.4 release, which is also like the 18 release, or 18.1, is basically, it stays the same. It gives me the same version of KDE, which is very stable. There are the, like, newer Ubuntu releases. It always, like, gives, you know, a newer package, a version of KDE in life, which is not so stable. It's got awesome features. It would be awesome, but it's not yet there. So I rather don't want to touch it at the moment. So yeah, that's the difference between the two. So basically, let's have a quick look around. So you can see the files looks pretty awesome. Like they make it half screen, where on 18.1 it makes full screen. And terminal. Let's see the kernel number which is being used. 3.16, Firefox 50. You can see this is also still the same bits. I love this. This is still the same. Updates. All the different options. I like this one just because I don't like so much to sometimes to like change my computer. You can update your local method that you can update better in the region where you are. Sometimes it works, sometimes it really doesn't work. It's Firefox 50, here you got user settings, all like normal Linux Mint stuff, that's what we're going to get in so much depth. The system settings, if you are used to Betsy or Linux Mint or in the Linux, this will look familiar. If you're not, then it will be something new, but it's very simple to understand. The themes, like in Linux Mint 18.1 and 18, you will see, like, you will have your dark theme, you will have your light theme, but here, you don't have that option yet, but that's okay. By default. And, yeah, like, this is basically there, the differences. The soft, oh yes, let's check the wallpapers quickly. As you can see, the wallpapers is, is also 
the same stuff then 18.1 and, and 18 you even get the names so it's very much integrated but it's also different then we call us a bang to don't be not on Ubuntu and if you look at the service center because it's a bang to do Debian and some packages we sadly just did some work on it. <laughs> there went something called better support for some packages. Don't ask me why. Like if you type in Steam, Steam will be also available here. I hope. But the Minecraft package which is awesome in 18.1 and 18 is not available here. Skype is also not available here, but you can always install these packages, it's just be sure about it. Chromium is and let me quickly see if I just install Chrome on this package like with that pack that packages install. Like this works just fine for Debian and Ubuntu, so it should work just fine. Like, I love keep Debian, so I should just do it. Um, yeah, so it's very similar. It's just not exactly, but it's very similar. And if you are in for the, like the Linux Mint theme of things, this might just be it for you. And if you never want to really upgrade your computer, but just keep it running, just update it. Why not? Yeah. This is basically it. We just seeing now if we can install Chrome easily on. Yeah. F, D, A, to Betsy. And I try to sound like a weird Guy. Even if my accent is not enough to frighten you off, that might be enough. <laughs> Great, the package is downloaded. GitHub is starting like a little machine. Let's close all this to pick and have all the focus on GitHub. Yeah, if you don't. No git happy. It's an awesome program to install Debian packages easy on the system. If it's Debian or Debian based, which Ubuntu is. So basically Ubuntu is also based on Debian, but it's just like they just cut up the middle man. And that's fine. Yeah. So let's see if the installation works well. If it works well, that will be for the video. If it doesn't work well, that will also be the end of the video. <laughs> so whatever's gonna happen, the video is gonna end soon. Give us a quick. So let's quickly type in Chrome. And voila, it worked. It's working, it's working. And it's the latest and greatest version of Google Chrome and it will update with your system. Google Chrome 57. Oh my greatness. Thank you for watching and goodbye.